How's it going, everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today. As always, I hope you are all having a beautiful day. Today is actually epic because it is the start of Brawlhalla Battle Pass Season 8 Terminus. And we are going to look at all the new stuff that has just been dropped into the game. Let's go ahead. So we got the Brawlhalla Battle Pass here, the free track and the premium track. Right off the bat, check out Corrupted Blood, Tezka. Level one, level two, and level three looking really nice. Not surprised that they used a Battle Boots legend in this battle pass as one of the, uh, you know, epic skins. Though I would have preferred Red Raptor, you know, Tezka is still really, really cool. We also got the Dark Heart Excavation Podium, which looks super cool. It actually changes a lot. Uh, level 1, level 2, and level 3. I actually like the level 1 the best. <laughs> and the level 3. Level 3 is pretty cool too. Uh, then we get the Bun Bun sidekick and the incarnate avatar right there. And then right off the bat, level 2, 50% uh, XP boost. Let's take a look at the Dark Heart colors. They're kind of like Gala colors, except, I don't know, like a little bit darker. I guess it, it is Dark Heart. Really, really cool to see. You know, they've had dark heart weapons for a long time in the game, and now we have the color scheme, so that's cool. Got a nice little orb there. Got a podium. Pretty cool. Or, sorry, not a podium. <laughs> Loading frame. All right, let's just quickly go through this, get to the good stuff. We got the fist bump emote. This one can be used with another person, which is really cool. And that's on a free track, which is really nice. Uh, some avatar or emoji. Got the cyber mic axe, cyber mic. We're going to say Cyber Mike. It sounds better, right? Mm, Mammoth Coins. We got the Cyber Mike can Mega Cannon. Sorry. And then our first premium skin, Terror Watt Zul. Oh my gosh. This looks insane. I'm not going to lie. That might be the coolest Zul skin so far. He almost looks like Frankenstein. Excuse me. <laughs> Frankenstein. Very cool. And there you have the weapons, power flash, and electronicor, electronicor axe. Pretty cool. Continuing on, the free track has some decent stuff too, not gonna lie, but most of the amazing stuff is just gonna be in the premium track as always. Wow, that GG is cool. It's animated and he's got like toxic fumes coming out of his mask, making the GG. We've got the rock out emote, pretty cool. Cyber Mike Gauntlets. This is actually one of the coolest uh, emotes and it's in the free track. So if y'all can't afford the premium track, at least you're getting some cool stuff for free just by playing Brahalla. Second premium skin, Street Sovereign Petra. This is a really cool Petra skin, not gonna lie. Really no complaints whatsoever on this skin. The orb, I love the Mohawk of Spikes with like the, uh, it just looks so cool. Love that orb skin and the Petra skin for sure. Moving along, we got the Cyber Mike Blasters. Kind of, man, eh, they're all right. More Mammoth Coins, more Dark Heart Colors. Look at all the Dark Heart Colors, sheesh. Got the Max Sidekick, very, very similar similar to another Sidekick I've seen uh, back, way back in the day when uh, we did the Season 2 Battle Pass. See what I mean, TV Head? Looks almost the same. I, I want to think they're like brothers or something. I mean, it's like almost the same exact sidekick right there. And then Terminus Street Signs. Very cool for the UI theme. I like it. Move it along. More XP boost. More Mammoth Coins. Oh, Harness the Dark Art emote. Let's see that again. Very cool. It's almost like a Petra. And I guess Petra really is like the queen of the Dark Heart energy, right? Petra has been using Dark Heart energy since she came out. Pretty funny uh, Neo Street emoji. And check out the final premium skin, not the final epic skin. Of course, we got the final, final epic skin. We'll get to that, but Neo Street Hattori. Pretty cool. Though I gotta say, you know, I do love Hattori, but she's got a lot of skins. I would have liked it, uh, the premium skin to go to some other legend that doesn't have as many skins, but that's just me. Got the hoverboard click kickflip. Pretty cool emote. Cyber Mike Claymore, uh, great sword skin, pretty awesome. I bet you it looks good in other colors as well. Uh, we got the battle boots, Cyber Mike, the laughing emoji, and then, oh, my bad. 
Did I say Hattori was the final premium skin? Psych! We got live action Orion. He's got a TV for a head. I love it. It reminds me of the people in uh, Stray, that, that game with the cat. I actually did a playthrough of that. Really cool game if you guys haven't seen it. I re recommend checking it out, though it's not a very long game, but it is cool. But the people, the robots have uh, TVs for heads like this. So it's really cool. Uh, moving along, we got the Cyberbike Hammer. Haruto Sidekick. Whoa. That's cool. That's really cool. It's like an Oni Cyber Mix. Love it. Pretty uh, decent sword there. Terminix laugh. Really? That's laughing? Like, they, they, they animated the fire, but not the laughing, like the jaw moving or anything. Kind of weird. Dark Heart power up. Oh, that is so epic. We already have a power up Ebo, but it just got replaced. This one is even better looking. Epic. I, I would... Imagine if if you had like a friend with the old power-up emote and you got this one and you're next to each other And you're both doing them. It probably looks insane guys tier 81 The knockout effect dark heart metamorphosis Wow, that is very flashy love it and the final four tiers the cyber Mike scythe which is a little bit boring not gonna lie but look at this, a really cool cyber like animatronic robot of an owl. I love it. And that's free, that's free. And then of course, universal dark art color scheme at tier 84, tier 85 for free. If you get all the way to tier 85 on the free track, you get the incarnate title. Kind of hard to read there, but on the premium track, the epic skin of the battle pass guys is Termidix Mordex. Oh my gosh. Look at that scythe. Look at that face. And look at that hand. That hand like glitching out like it's about to rip your heart out. This is an amazing skin. Now, Mordex, obviously one of the most popular legends in the game. Has a lot of good skins already. But I'm happy that Mordex finally got an epic skin in a battle pass, you know. This is, I'm not even gonna complain about this. That scythe skin and those gauntlets are amazing. And I can't wait to use them both on the Terminix, Mordex, and on other scythe and gauntlet legends. So guys, without further ado, you're probably wondering why I have not unlocked premium track yet. Let's just go ahead and do that. Boom, battle pass premium, let's go. Just unlocked the full battle pass premium. Oh, sorry, not the full battle pass, but the premium. I actually like doing the missions and unlocking the battle pass as we go, even though I could just buy all the tiers. I like actually uh, completing the missions and stuff. So let's just go ahead and equip all the new stuff we got right away, which includes the avatar, right? Incarnate avatar looks amazing. Uh, I'm gonna set my partner creator title to the side for now so that we can use the new Title. I think it was Wave Maker, right? I think that's what it was. <laughs> I kind of forgot, but I think it was Wave Maker. Uh, <laughs> sidekick. We're not going to use TV Head. We're going to use Bun Bun. And then, of course, our podium. Uh, let's equip the Dark Heart Excavation. And we're going to go ahead and do some of these missions with the new Tezka skin, the Corrupted Blood Tezka. Let's see what we got to do. We need to do gauntlet KOs, battle boots, light attack damage. Well, there you go. Perfect for Tezka. Spear heavy KOs with neutral light attacks. KOs off the bottom of with weapons that were thrown upwards. Oh, not this again. At least it's only one. That's a really hard one to do. Boomerang damage. That's pretty easy. And then win matches. Legends brought to Valhalla by Bryn. That's pretty easy too. And for the general missions, we have to level up the Tezka. We need to spike opponents into oblivion with signature attacks. And that's actually pretty easy to do with Tezka. Neutral Sig actually spikes them down. You could also use like Taros, Axe, Neutral Sig. There's so many legends that spike down. And launch opponents into orbit with signature attack. Again, you could pretty much just use Taros, but literally any legend like you could do these on. It's not that hard. And then completionist. Oh, look at that avatar. That looks sick. If you complete all 168 missions in the battle pass, that's what you get. And a uh, title, I'm assuming. Wow, guys, here we go. Start of another battle pass. I'm hyped. 
You're hyped. We're all hyped. Drop a like if you're hyped. Let's go ahead and get this done. Now, the best way to complete most of these missions, I'm not going to lie, is... Oh. Okay, well, there you go. Is to do free-for-all. Because in free-for-all, you just have the, the highest chance to do the most damage. Online. So let's just go ahead and jump into free-for-all. Oh, listen to the music. Wow. Where's Tezka? Oh, he's looking buff. All right. Uh, wow. Look at these colors on this. Wish I had the level two and three, but we're going to get there, guys. We will get there. I actually have Tezka black colors as well. I don't have Skyforge and Goldforge, but wow. Look at that. We're going to. Wow. Raven colors look good. Let's do black. I'm going to use his level one weapons and just default stance for now. Let's just go ahead and get this party started, guys. Battle Pass Season 8. First game with Tezka. I'll do one game of free-for-all, and then we'll go ahead and do some 1v1s. Because even though free-for-all is the fastest way to level up, personally, I just have more fun doing uh, 1v1s. Free-for-all is also a good way to just kind of warm up, you know? Get the blood flowing in your fingers. Get get the feel of the legend down. Haven't played Tezka in a long time. I've been mostly just playing Red Raptor, Three, trying to level two, him up to level 25. All right, here we go, guys. I don't have the uh, the new emotes or anything because we haven't got that far in the battle pass, but we'll get there. So I just need uh, gauntlet KOs and, and uh, battle boots damage. Wow, going from that hype, like, character select music to this really calm <laughs> forest meadow music is funny. All right, battle boots, light attack damage, guys. This is what we need. We also need to spike people, so let's try to do neutral saves. All right, I w no, I want to spike this guy. Boom, there's one. Already making progress on that. Budvar, what are you doing? Oh, bye-bye. No. Nope. Oh, uh, if Thatch would have done the cannonballs, he could have messed that dude up pretty good. Oh my gosh. I almost took them both out. Thatch, you want some of this? Budvar, you want some of this too? Plenty, plenty to go around for everybody. Really, I should just be focusing on light attacks with the boots equipped, so... The best part about free-for-all light attacks is you could be hitting three people at once and just really racking up the damage. But either way, look at all this light attack damage we are doing. In fact, I don't even think I've died yet. Okay, well... No! Okay, well, <laughs> we gave him a spike into oblivion. It was worth it for him. All right, now we need a gauntlet KO, right? Let's try to make progress on both of these challenges at, at the same time if we can. Thatch, you stay out of this. I bought a mission. All right, Thatch. <laughs> oh, I wanted that triple so bad. Come here, Thatch. Come here, Thatch. I smell you, Thatch. I can smell that pirate. Oh, come on, Budvar. That was my KO. Are you kidding me? We're getting warmed up for Tezuka, guys. No, oh, Thatch. I turned my back for one minute. Thank you, Tezuka. I'd rather Tezuka get the KO than Thatch. Give it to another Tezuka brother, you know what I mean? Come on, Thatch. Stop it. Just stop it. Oh, there's a gauntlet KO. Beautiful. Oh, Bodvar's... Bodvar! Oh, Thatch, he quit! Thatch wasn't having fun, guys. Come on, Bodvar. Let me have it. Let me have this KO, please. Oh, well. GG, guys. GG. All right, let's hop into some 1v1s. GG. Well played. Well played. I'm going to do at least one 1v1. Look at that progress, though. I guess not that much. We got one spike into oblivion. That's it. All right, let's do a 1v1 with Tezka. 
Corrupted Blood Tezka. Should we do Raven Colors? Why not? Yeah, we didn't really get like a ton of progress in that free-for-all game. But like I said, like typically you still do get the most progress at free-for-all just because there's so many people to hit. But Three, two, who knows? You know, some, some things are easier in 1v1 like... Oh, oh, he actually got on the boat so fast. All right, let's get this party started, Brid. Uh, enough with the axe. Oh. Oh. Oh, Bryn. What's going on here? What a dodge! Oh, I need gauntlet KOs, Bryn. <laughs> well, we got one. All right, now light attacks with uh, gauntlets. Or, I mean, sorry, battle boots. I always call battle boots gauntlets. Lucky for me, I've been playing a lot. Ooh. A lot of, uh, like I said, Red Raptor. Nice down light. Hey, we take it. I don't know how that worked, but we're going to take it. Come on, Bryn. You got to be faster than that. Spike. Spike. Nope. <laughs> All right, we want this spike. Spike into oblivion. I think another one was to just hit him like off the top. Duh, I walked right into that. The only problem with uh, fishing for a SIG <laughs> or a specific like move is a lot of times it'll get you killed. Because you're not being smart. You're just like trying to get that one thing. Alright, well, we're making progress on the gauntlet KOs. At least there's that. Oh, no. We need that boomerang damage. <gasps> Come on, Bryn. Get up here. Get up here. So I can hit you again. Spike. Nope. Spike. Come on. Her dodging is insane. Pink Power Ranger Bryn has got the dodge on lockdown. All right. Watch this down stick. Whoa. Boom. Called it. GG. Tuska still got it, baby. Well played, well played. Well played, well played. Making progress, guys. We're making progress. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. But fear not. I will be uploading more episodes soon because we got so much to cover in this battle pass. I can't wait to show off all the new skins and whatnot. Let me know which is your favorite. Corrupted Blood Tezka. Terror Wazul. Street Sovereign Petra. Neo Street Hattori Live Action Orion Or Termadex Mordex Not gonna lie, for me it's the Mordex And the Orion And the Hattori I'm not gonna lie, like every skin in this battle pass Just looks good They really do Like I couldn't say that about previous battle passes But this one they all look good And I really want to get some Dark Heart colors So Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. This is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next episode. Take it easy, friends.